right, we're going to start chapter 12 today, and we are doing lesson 12.1. Actually, all of chapter 1 is about preparing payroll records. 12.1 um, is calculating employee earnings. Um, then we're going to get into determining payroll tax withholding, and then preparing payroll records. And then the last lesson is preparing payroll checks. If you have a job, that is the most important one to you. Um, so today, explain how employees are paid and calculate hourly employee earnings. Paying employees, the amount paid to an employee for every hour worked is called a wage. Um, it's, you'll hear it called hourly wages. You know, if you have a part-time job, you make so much per hour. Um, there's a lot of talk in the U.S. about raising minimum wage, which would be a minimum amount an employee could pay you per hour. Um, but once you get out of the hourly wages, you would move on to management, and you get a fixed annual sum of money divided among equal pay, pay periods as a salary. doesn't matter how many hours you work, you get paid the same amount. Usually they take a salary and divide it by months and then half months or twice a week or etc. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter how many hours you work, more than 40, less than 40, you get paid a salary. Regardless of the amount of hours, you get paid what you get paid. You can also get a commission, which is a method of paying an employee based on the amount of sales the employee generates. Um, if you are a salesperson working for a company, you'll get a commission if you sell something. So you might get a real small base salary, and then you make um, money when you make sales. This usually encourages higher sales, and commissions are normally calculated as a percent of the employee's sales. So if you sell, say, $100,000 worth of equipment, you'll get paid a percent of that value. Uh, the total amount paid by a business for an employee's work earned by a wage, salary, or commission is called total earnings. And then the total earnings are sometimes referred to as gross pay, um, gross wages, or gross earnings. Okay, paying employees. A pay period is the number of days or weeks of work covered by an employee's paycheck. Examples of pay periods. You can get paid every week. You can get paid every two weeks, which is biweekly. Twice a month, which is semi-monthly, or once a month, which is monthly. Usually if you get paid twice a month, which is semi-monthly, you'll get paid on the 15th, and then the last day of the month, be the 28th, um, 29th in leap year, 30th or 31st. The total amount earned by all employees for a pay period is called a payroll. Um, the total payroll is not the amount actually paid to the employees. Wages are reduced by taxes and other deductions such as health insurance. The accounting staff position that compiles and computes payroll data and then prepares, journalizes, and posts payroll transactions is called a payroll clerk. Um, to calculate employee hours worked, we use a time clock. A time clock is a device used to record the dates and times of each employee's arrivals and departures. My first job was in a restaurant, and we actually had pieces of paper that we slid into a time clock that just, um, you heard a big kerchunk, and it stamped the time and the date that I arrived at work, and then it would stamp it again when I put the piece of paper in the machine, the time and the date that I was leaving. Nowadays, um, actually, Pretty recently after that, computer technology offers new methods for recording employee time. You can swipe your name badge, you can key in a PIN number, you can press a finger to a biometric pad, um, log into a computer, etc. But um, very few people use time clocks nowadays where it's a manual stamping of a time and date. Time is usually tracked by the nearest quarter hour. Here is an example of a time sheet. Um, if you look, came in at 7.59, out at 12.02, and then took lunch, back at 12.59, out at um, 4.53. So this would be 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11, 12 is four hours before lunch, and then 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, four hours after lunch. So you get regular um, eight hours. Let's look at this one. 8 to 12 is four hours. Um, one to five, pretty close, is another four hours. 
and then they took a break for maybe dinner and worked for two and a half more hours of overtime. Generally, you get paid more for overtime. Um, it's usually time and a half. So say you're making $10 an hour, you work overtime, you're going to make $10 an hour plus an extra $5 an hour. Um, here we have a Saturday, which Saturdays are usually considered overtime too. Okay, time clock systems. Um, sorry, not much to explain here. Um, we've got all the times over time. Everything is added up together. Um, eight. <clears throat> so we have 88 regular hours, six and a half overtime hours, a total amount of hours um, in a pay period. So this pay period is the 1st through the 15th. Um, and that's really all we can say about that. Calculating our employee total earnings. So we calculate our regular earnings first, which would be a regular hours times the regular rate. And then over time, there were six and a half hours. Um, they're making time and a half. So $15 times 1.5 is $22.50 as their overtime rate. So six and a half hours times 22.50 is $146.25 for overtime. So they get their regular earnings right here and then their overtime earnings right there. And then add it all together. All right, what is payroll? The total amount earned by all employees for a pay period. Identify three methods used by modern time clock systems to record employee arrival and departure times. Um, swipe your name badge, key in a pin, press a finger to a biometric pad, log into a computer. Um, there's many ways. Describe the overtime rules for the Fair Labor Standards Act. Um, rewinding here and looking it up in the book to give you the actual. Um, Fair Labor Standard, the Fair Labor Standards Act often referred to as the Federal Wage and Hour Laws, set the minimum wage and rules for payments of overtime. The law requires most businesses involved in interstate commerce to pay employees at least one, one and a half times their normal hourly rate for hours worked in excess of 40 hours per week. Um, in Three Green, they comply with the Fair Labor Standards Act, but the company goes even further and plays its employees overtime when they work more than eight hours in a day. So it's not just 40 hours a week for three green, it's eight hours in a day. There we go. How does three green calculate overtime earnings? I just said one and a half times the normally hour late for hours worked more than eight hours per day or 40 hours per week. All right.